Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0. And today is day 13. So we're back at it inside of our Recruits Applet Recruiting Pipeline tab. And today we're going to talk about adding a recruit to a stage and phase inside of our pipeline. So a couple of different ways that we can do that. Let's say that this recruit already exists inside of our recruit management tool and we want to go ahead and drop them into one of the stages so we can come into recruit management and we're going to find that particular recruit so let's say it's peggy hill here all right so we'll pull up peggy and we want to drop her into a custom stage and phase what we would end up doing is clicking on the edit button in the top square where peggy's name is we'll click on edit and then here kind of about halfway down you can see we've got pipeline status add recruit to pipeline so let's say peggy was already in our recruit management tool but all of a sudden one of our alc members referred peggy said hey i just closed the deal with peggy i think she'd be a great agent she should join the market center she seemed interested can you call and reach out absolutely i'm going to add this recruit to the pipeline and then this is where i can select our phase and then stage so this is going to be an active recruit we haven't met with them yet our goal is to and then you can see all of the stages, including the custom stage that we created yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose ALC Recruit Lead. I can click on Save Changes. And when I do, and I come back to our pipeline view here, we will find out that inside our custom ALC Recruit Lead stage, we've now got Peggy Hill showing up. So this is Peggy's actual recruit card. You can see there's a lot of things that we can do inside this recruit card. We're going to show you how to do several of those tomorrow. But yesterday we created a custom stage checklist for our ALC recruit lead stage. In order to access that checklist, we can actually click on the box here in the bottom right hand corner. So if I click on that box, we can now see here are those three checklist items that we created yesterday. And I can come in and check off one, two, or all three of those checklist items. Because I have our show completed toggle down here at the bottom, it's still gonna show me the items that were on the checklist. It's just gonna show them as completed. In addition, on our checklist items, let's say that, you know, as the team leader, my job is to have correspondence with these individuals, but maybe it's not my job to do the social post. That's gonna be maybe my DFI or agent services or whatever that might be. So I can click on assign and then actually assign that responsibility to someone else on the team. So maybe it's good old Bellatrix's job to create the social posts and um, Bellatrix doesn't have the best handwriting. So the thank you note, well, that's gotta be sent out by old Birdie Big Bird, all right? And um, I'm gonna actually call the recruit. So that would be me and I would be the team leader. So here I am, demo team leader, right? So. I can actually set due dates for these items as well. You can see that listed on the right hand side. We can click on the three dots and edit the actual items. And finally, if there's a specific item that needs to be done on the checklist for Peggy, I can always come in and add in an item. This would be our custom checklist item. I can add it. I can then hover over it and assign it to someone else on the team and set a due date for that item as well. This custom checklist item, however, as a note, will only show up for Peggy. It won't show up on anyone else's checklist. It would just be something that needs to be done for Peggy. So I can click on close. Uh, let's check a couple of those off just so I can show you what that looks like. We'll do a quick refresh. And then inside of Peggy's recruit card, we could see that we are two of four. So we've knocked out two of the four checklist items. If we wanted to continue to work through all the rest of our recruits, sort of getting things done, checking off our checklist items, fantastic way to say, sort of stay on top of each of these recruits and make sure you're getting done what you need to get done when you need to get it done. Tomorrow, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the recruit cards, how to assign a recruit card, how to move a recruit card. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about viewing the details and then even removing somebody from the pipeline. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. As always, it's fantastic talking to you and hope you're all having a wonderful day.